Emily? Huh, I wonder where she ran off to. Let's look in the classroom here. Oh, she's mopping. What, what are you doing? I am mopping because we're prepping this room to have a mural painted on the wall. As you all know, at our facility we have a classroom and we are going to be primarily using this room for birthday parties. We're also going to be using it for community events like maybe a snake movie night here or uh, we're actually going to do a, a bird training course in this room. So various events, but we needed something that was like a good eye catcher in this room and we thought, well, what if we turned this wall into a rainforest mural? So we have officially hired Tony with Walls of Art LLC. And he is going to be our oh. very talented muralist for this project. Tony, what is the plan for this three-day project? Well, we're going to turn this wall into a jungle scene, like a swampy jungle I'm scene. I'm so excited. That sounds and perfect. We'll get uh, vines hanging and snakes and alligators and all kinds of fun stuff so that the kids can come in and take their pictures in front of it. That sounds great. And that's right. We're going to have an actual area that is like a photo op, right? Yep. With this wall jetting out right here, we are thinking of, could we turn that into a tree? Is that possible? Yeah, I think that would work great. It already bumps out anyway, and I'll just kind of make it look like a neat old tree covered in twisty vines and all that kind of good stuff. That sounds perfect, yeah. actually. And then we could have like the photo op be this side. So if kids at the birthday parties are holding Doug the boa, they could like yep. stand here in the jungle and get a cool picture <laughs> with him. Yep. And then I think the rest is going to be kind of just the background for. I'll, I'll be standing here when I do programs. It'll be like a rainforest background while yeah. the party program is happening. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. We're yeah. so excited for it. Yeah, I'm excited too. So, and this wall could also be like group shots. You know, I didn't so. even think of that because we want to have um, classes like uh, uh, yeah. school groups there here. You go. So yeah. we can have the whole class standing in front. Yeah. That's a great. See, so. you're perfect for this. Man. <laughs> it's all fun. <laughs> okay, so these are the reference photos we're yep. going to go by, right? Yep. So kind of basically a, a darker kind of lagoony jungle kind of feel to it with water, you know, in this area here. And then thinking maybe about a foot and a half, maybe just about the outlet kind of like a water line so you can actually see under the water as well as above it that'd be um, really cool uh, actually that'd be perfect and you you have plenty of live animals to use as references in yeah. the zoo if you need them at yeah, all yeah no they're everywhere so that's great yeah, yeah rex be... normally sits with her head at the t surface of the water and her body under so i'll take some pictures and that way we can make it really look like herself you know so that people, the kids know right away who that is that'd be so cool if you could base yeah. the alligator in the mural off of rex yeah because that that'd be really awesome my gosh, this is the concepts that Tony has come up with so far with the outlines. And you can kind of see where we're going to have that underwater section here. And we'll have like a lagoon area back here, a little bit of a waterfall and plenty of vines and branches for snakes to hang from. Maybe could we implement maybe a couple of macaws since we have our macaw Cheyenne. Yeah, get some color in there. Yeah, sure. that'd be so cool. This looks incredible already and I can really start to see the vision. Oh, and there's the vines going around the tree. This it's gonna be perfect. I can't wait to see what you uh, what you end up doing next. Ed, quit staring. You're making Tony nervous. But it's so pretty. It is really pretty. He's doing a great job. <laughs> Just quit freaking him out though. <laughs> All right, it is day two for the mural being painted. I just came back from running some errands and Tony has already made a ton of progress today. Take a look. Oh my gosh. So you're working on the water today. A few more layers to go, but yeah, you can kind of tell where it's going to be. And wow. There's a little second waterfall area coming in here. Oh, nice. I didn't see you doing that. It's really neat seeing how you add more and more layers with different colors. Yeah, for and sure. You just get the texture, you get the shading, it just pops and comes yeah. to life. Yep, it's usually at least three layers before it actually starts to look like anything good. Man, this is looking great though. All right, well if you need anything, let me know.
Well, it is the end of day two, and Tony has taken off for the evening, and this is what he accomplished today. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. Incredible. He added like an oasis up here. It's amazing what a splash of color will do. I thought these were going to be vines, but they're like cool looking trees that he added for a kind of a cool jungle effect. Yeah, I think we totally hired the right person for this. Tony, you are amazing. And he's going to attempt to do a 14 hour day when he comes in for his third and final day next week. That's a super long day and he said he's done it before and it's no big deal, but I think the next time he comes in, once he leaves, this is gonna be done. So we'll come back for day three and you'll get to see the finalized mural at the end of the day. Right, it is the third and final day for Tony to do the mural against the wall and actually he got here at like 6 a.m. today It's now He's back over here. There's yep. his truck. There's his truck And we just gave him the key to the building to go in because we don't get here till 11 So he's been working for about five hours just to load the building. So I haven't seen it. I've been gone Yeah, you didn't see yesterday too uh, at no. all. I think we should go check out his progress. Oh my gosh, you've done so much. Wow, holy moly. Oh, you've got moss hanging from the tree branch even? That is really cool. The water looks amazing. And today is adding animals day. Yeah, and I like the, the parrot, there it is. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, this is Cheyenne. Figured she had to come on one of the days where you were working on the mural, <laughs> so you have a, a live model, I guess. Yeah. You're gonna be put to work today. You have to model today, Cheyenne. You ready to see the mural? It's done. I'm gonna let you peek and see the whole thing in three, two, one. Look at the mural. Yeah, he did such a nice job. Look, we have a blue tree monitor. He added an isopod oh, yep, over here. Yep. Uh, probably a little Montenegro. Probably. Super cute. He also added Cheyenne yep. up in the tree. The only thing is she doesn't have her sweater on. Yep, doesn't it? Well, he got her at the right angle, so maybe she is wearing her sweater. You just can't tell <laughs> it's there. That's true. You got Allie. Allie was in here. And we've got Tiny added to the front underwater. And we've got Rex in here, which I love his style of art. It's like a little bit abstract, but realistic too, you know? Really cool. There's also a dart frog right here. That's such a cute little dart frog too. Yeah, we got my favorite. Green tree Aww. python. Little green tree. And then there's a boa constrictor here. I'm actually not sure, I don't think he based this off of anyone in particular, but it's a gorgeous boa mm -hmm. that he made. There's also one more uh, reptile in this mural that we're not gonna show you because we don't want to point everything out, yep. but there is a chameleon hidden in this mural somewhere. So if you come here, your goal is to find the chameleon in the mural. Only you'll know where it is because you'll have seen it in person because we're not gonna show you in today's nope. video. This area that had to be jetted out for a support fame we had to add to this room during construction. He turned it into his tree. This whole area to the left of the tree is actually going to be the encouraged photo op area. This is going to be where when they're holding say Doug or Boa they can stand in front of and get a cool picture and the logo will be conveniently there too. Yep. Should we see if the photo op works? Sure. How does it look? It Here. looks awesome. Hi Doug. You guys haven't seen Doug in a while. Aww. Hey Doug. <laughs> he's just as sweet of a boy as Aww. he's always been. But yeah he's probably the one that's going to be sitting on kids' shoulders for photos. If I'm, I'm, I would be a very tall example of a kid. Yeah, I guess. most people would probably be like, there you go. There, okay. Yeah. You can see that still, right? Yep. Nice. And you've got the trees, got isopod. This is gonna be perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, well, now you have to pose for the photo shoot. An incredible mural brings this classroom together. Yeah, it does. And it'll be a perfect focal point for people renting this room for a party. <laughs> now the only problem is we have to clean the rest of it. Yeah, it's still kind of messy in here. That'll be our goal by the end of the year is cleaning up the rest of the yes. room. Starting in January, we'll be doing our programs again. Thank you everybody so much for watching today's video. I know it was kind of an odd one. We don't usually do a video all about art, but we thought there's a lot of artistic fans who watch our channel and a lot of reptile fans, obviously, and there were reptiles incorporated into the mural. So so I hope you enjoyed today's video and as always thank you to our Patreon backers for your very generous support. We actually used some of your contributions for this mural here so thank you for making this 
possible here at Snake Discovery. We'd also like to thank Tony with Walls of Art LLC. Go check him out on Facebook. He is an amazingly talented artist and he has done a ton of murals before. Interesting fact, I learned from Tony that whenever he incorporates animals in a mural, he has at least one of them uh, down at kids' height because what he's found kids do with animals is they go up to the animal and they touch its nose. He's not exactly sure why and I'm not exactly sure why. I think it has something to do with just confirming that this is a painting and not a real animal, but I guess they always go for the nose. So yeah, I thought that was a weird fact. I guess if anyone's into child behavior and knows why kids like touching the nose of animals on murals or pictures for that matter. Yeah, so thank you everybody yet again and we'll see you next time.